It seems today that all we see It seems today that all we see are useless magic trailers you can't believe. So where are those informed, honest people who help you choose what to buy? With Prop Dog you can always rely. Prop Dog are a team who will always aim to please you. Integrity and service that you can't deny. It's time for Prop Dog Live. Hey! I know, I know, where is Dave? No one knows, but hey. you have myself and Mr. Mike Sullivan to keep you company this afternoon uh, whilst, whilst, Mike, whilst Dave is uh, off on his holidays, um, unlike other people which might choose a holiday to have a nice relaxing time, put your feet up. Dave has decided uh, to walk uh, all the way to Mile, all the way to Wales, um, and not not the easy way. So if you did no. put it into your root finder, it'll take you down the M4 or whatever, and uh, it'd be about 250 miles. Dave has decided to follow the Thames, which is basically about three times as far. With so, Aki. With Aki. With Aki. And he uh, has decided to avoid all all modes of you know civilized uh, sleeping arrangements as well. So yep. he's basically got a bivy and uh, a sleeping bag, and he's he's roughing it. So, um, but the reason I'm saying you that is, is not because we're so proud of Dave, uh, but because um, we're not really. Uh, no. But we think they're stupid. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nuts. Thirty pounds a night for a B and B, mate. Uh, you know, really, you should have just done that. Um, but uh, because he's doing now doing it for charity, because yes. it is turned into pretty much of a hardship. Go on the Facebook page. You can see the bags under his eyes gradually getting bigger over the first few days. Mike, you set up the Facebook. You, you set yes, up. yes. So, so Dave and Aki are supporting the Breathe charity. Um, this is a charity that is close to a lot of magicians because they deal with people with uh, brain injuries and uh, strokes and things like that. And they have a magic program which is uh, apparently now has been uh, adopted by the NHS, which is really, really good news. So please find the, uh, the, the donation page. It is on the Prop Dog website, uh, Prop Dog. Facebook page, it's on my Facebook page, it's on oh, Dave's. You know what? I should put it on the top of recent editions, shouldn't I? Cracking idea. We'll put it on the actual website and uh, donate as much as you can. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's well cause. worth doing it. It's and a just great remember, cause. Just remember that, yeah, I mean, remember how much a cup of coffee costs, remember yeah. all of that stuff. I'm not going to give you all the busking lines. Um, <laughs> but really, you know, you probably won't notice the amount of money, but it would make a big difference to it someone would. else. So it, please absolutely. do that. Absolutely. Cool. Right then. Right then. So, that's so this is going to be a short prop dog live it today is. because uh, Mr. Alex Kirk has got a very, very important engagement tonight. Tell everybody. <laughs> I wasn't going to let you get out of that. I'm performing at the Magic Circle um, tonight. He is. So uh, I've been busy prepping lots of new stuff with Mike's help. So all of the good bits, all of the good lines, all of the good moves. Uh, Wayne's. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely and, uh, Wayne's. Uh, yeah, so I've been a bit of a tiz. Uh, but yeah, so um, so I've got to dash off um, as early as possible. So get your questions in as early as possible. We'll rattle yep. things off. And if you want more details on it, let us know, because we are going to be in a bit of a hurry. We are. Uh, Finley was first. No wow. Much, not much of a surprise. Uh, hi, Kevin Peel. Hi, Mark Paul. Uh, Finley says, oh no, I think I was miles out. Uh, don't know, are you guessing about... From Wales? I don't or... know. Yep. Afternoon, oh, to Simon King, afternoon. Uh, Jordan Davis, what Halloween magic do you recommend? I already have Hook and I do Human Blockhead, thinking of getting a Netcracker gimmick soon. Ooh. Love the Netcracker gimmick. I did uh, Needle Through Arm, uh, which uh, fortunately that could be quite made quite funny. I did try Hook at a Halloween show, and because I'm a comedy thing, people didn't quite they couldn't get this. What? There's a buzzing noise. It's because oh. I I tried to kill a fly and it's yeah, it's, <laughs> it's caught between the counter. Oh no, it's trapped. You've trapped a <laughs> fly. Oh, hang on, here we go. No, don't do it. Oh, right, okay. No, it's there. Uh... Um, 
Huh? No flies were harmed during this. So uh, I would do, I would do needle through arm. Needle if through you look arm. up, who was knife the, through arm? That's good. Yep. Um, the evil, the evil uh, Boris. The uh, Boris pet spiders. But if you're doing walk around, there are loads of things to make people jump. Yeah. Uh, the clown uh, by Jamie, Jamie Dawes. Dawes. Yeah. Um, there are loads. We've actually got a Halloween section on the website, so I checked that out. Um, and pretty much anything, you know, you can make anything as scary if you just change a picture or whatever. So, uh, what are those pictures, those haunted pictures that change from old people? Oh, to I'll grab one. We've got them, I think. Yeah, we have got them. Yeah, we have got They're them. They're great. I've never seen the trick, but it's good. Oh, and also, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's a trick, it's more of a right. thing. Uh, Gary Ogden, nearly first. I don't think so, Gary. I think. <laughs> If that's what, if you thought that was, that was coming first when you were in a race at school, I'm, I'm imagining you were last picked. Uh, Chris Gillard says, afternoon everybody. Roy Bond says, afternoon Sully. Any tasty afternoon. clues to new releases at Blackpool? Uh, well, we've got, some, right. we've got some good new I releases. Don't know. So we're still plugged in? We're still plugged in. Yeah. Okay, right, okay. So I'm going to see if I can do this. What are you seeing on the camera at yeah, the moment? Yeah. Uh, a skull. A skull? Uh, yeah, a cowboy. Cowboy skull. So these pictures are great. Yeah, so we've got a whole load of those. So um, have a look on the website. Changing portraits. Uh, Jonas says, hi all. As the boss is out, what gives? Oh, well, he's not going to recognise the shop, that's for sure. Uh, we've moved it about a bit. Moved it about a bit. Uh, got some new cabinets. Yeah, got some new cabinets. We're, we're going we're to just start releasing a whole load of stuff while he's not while he's away. Uh, I think oh, that's yeah. the plan. That's the plan. So we've got a few ideas afoot. Um, but he might be watching. So, uh, you know, mum's the word. Uh, poet, says Charlie Robinson. Hope you're both well. We are right, aren't we? We are, we are. We've had a good time this week. It's been great. Oh, I wasn't very well on Monday. That's true. So that wasn't <laughs> such a good... <laughs> Mike, should we tell him? Yeah, you can tell. So, so um, I, it's bad news coming here and working with these guys during the whole week. And uh, we, uh, we're not very... Um, we don't organise things very well, do we? <laughs> especially, especially our lunches. Well, we uh, don't get lunches, do well, we? Well, we don't get lunches. We work through the lunch because it has been busy. And uh, I decided that we, uh, on Monday, that we should get something quick, simple and hot. Uh, and those three categories are all summed up in one word, and that is... McDonald's. McDonald's. So we ordered some McDonald's. Uh, it was delivered, and uh, we all tucked into our McDonald's. And then about an hour after that, this one here wasn't very well. In oh, fact, it was horrible. He, in fact, he lost a few pounds. Oh, it was terrible, terrible. <laughs> and I hadn't had, I think, I just hadn't had McDonald's. Obviously, I'm used to some quite high, high quality, fine dining. Of course, it um, is. Yeah. On that so, boat of yours. I mean, the I'm, yacht. It is a shame that the Savoy doesn't deliver here. Uh, Claridge's just takes forever. So we did resort to McDonald's, and no, yeah. oh, terrible. So, so no McDonald's anymore. <laughs> no McDonald's. Uh, Jonas, wait. Preparing for a gig isn't that cheating. So I think I'm allowed. I think I'm. I think I'm allowed twelve hours before the gig. That's that's generally my 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 prepping time. Winging it. Winging is it. The word. So it's a brilliant Winging new trick, though, isn't it? It's not a I like new it. trick. It's good. It's, it's very good. brilliant new trick. So actually, two new so two new tricks that uh, have all come together uh, this afternoon. Here he says, "Hi, chaps. Loving the visible coins. Thanks for the recommendation. It's a great trick. It's yep. good." Thinking of doing a double exposure, but having a paranormal ghost photography spin on it. Yeah, there you go. You see, Jordan, you've got you've got the ideas. Well, I think we've got a ghost in the in that collection somewhere. Well, uh, Darren Rotherham, uh, loving Switch One. This is a game changer. It cool. is good, and actually, if you see, I don't know if Christian's posted what uh, he showed us in the shop the other day, um, but from one switch, it looks like you've changed it three times. I think it's really clever. Really clever. Uh, Josh Wood. Hi guys, I'm looking to get into Cube Magic. What would you recommend to get me started? Thanks. Oh, that brings us on to a, a, a segue to onto one of the tricks. Where, where, where did it? you put it? Oh, I don't know where it is now. Here it is. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I, I, now if you are just starting, you probably want to take it easy. So um, I would say for £411, get the complete Rubik's Wall. You won't look back. It is absolutely brilliant. You get uh, loads of different designs for your revelations. Um, you get to stick all the revelations together, so it's a bit, a bit of a jigsaw to start off with. Um, but then you can customise it after that if you figure out the patterns. And this is the basic model? This is the basic one. So the basic one doesn't come with the turntable and doesn't come with all of the Rubik's Cubes. So I think if you add it up, basically you want to get the complete one, really. And how much is that? That's 411. This one's 303. 
Um, because I think if you are doing a stay tree and you've got a prop, it is nice to spin it around. You don't want to sort of clunkily turn it around or anything like that. So it's worth it for the turntable. Again, you can source a turntable from anywhere you like. You can buy some cheap Rubik's cubes if you like. <laughs> Just getting into card magic. <laughs> Cube magic and yeah. you're giving in the top of the range. There you go. Uh, the other one is, what was the other one that came uh, in? RD Insta. RD Insta. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think we sold out. It might be in the draw. It might be in the draw. Oh, um, RD Insta um, is a very good. Very visual. Very, very, good, very visual. visual. Uh, a lot of these things I always say uh, you don't need to solve the cube, but I think you're better off being. You, you should at least be able to solve the cube. That is uh, that for me is your starting point. Then you need to learn um, an algorithm, which is just a quick solve algorithm, yep. which is usually six or ten moves or so, um, to quickly change it from a, a, coi a cube that looks like it's fairly mixed into complete solved and then I had to do something like the solution by Michael Murray is my favourite it doesn't use a gimmick cube uh, the spectator apparently solves it um, behind their back um, so I would recommend doing that one first it's a uh, brilliant routine and it's cheap doesn't involve any gimmicks or anything like that and otherwise you're going to be stuck with Venom which is probably I think the best one so there you go solution Venom Rubik's Wall cool Afternoon, Walter. Afternoon, Walter. Oh, Mark Kavanagh. Hi, Alex and Mike. How are you both? Well, any invisible coin back in from last week? Yeah, yeah, it's back yeah. In now. We're back in now. Go on it's the website. Back in. It's all back in. Bye, bye, bye. Can you solve a cube? Can you Q solve a cube? Uh, yep. Uh, can you solve a cube? Q3 or RD Insta? Oh, yeah. Uh, cube 3 is really good as well. I forgot to mention um, Cube 3. There are loads of DVDs as well as the one that uh, Charlie's going to, Charlie's no doubt um, going to put this up. Uh, the one with, what's the guy who always wears the hat? Uh, George, there's, there's John George and Carl Hein um, have a, a DVD as well with loads and loads of information on it. But it just depends, you don't want to, um, you don't want to rush in. So I learned to solve the cube, but then I had to do the solution and then I'd start looking at gimmicks. Yep. Where is Dave and the prop dog? Well, we don't know roughly, are they, they've been through Oxford? I, they? See, uh, I mean, they're walking through Oxford now. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but if you check Dave's uh, Facebook page, he's been sending maps yep. and locations. Yeah, so it's all updated. So, so we don't know off the top of it. I mean, for the done. last four days, he's not slept, um, and I'm sure if you watch the videos, you'll see why. But last night he slept really well. Getting lucky. <laughs> no, I'd, what with the dog? Yeah. <laughs> no, don't you start that. Uh, not going to that. No, no. They, I mean, everywhere he camped, it was just horrendous. And they, he took loads of videos. Uh, one time, he parked outside a RAF base, and Chinooks were flying over all night. I wonder if that make him feel at home. You would think. Oh, he's a, mar yeah, a marine. I suppose. Marine. I don't know. Maybe, they, it's, maybe it was yeah. a more of a boat thing. Yeah, it could be. Um, like Jeffrey, Jeffrey Tam, I'm excited for my regal bottle to arrive. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, we really were playing with that this week and last weekend. Yep. We've come up with a close up version. More to follow. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, good, isn't it? Well, it'd be your idea, wouldn't it? That's why he's. Yeah, of course it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a close up version. You'll be able to walk up to a table and do it uh, without having any worries of uh, seeing, looking at the bottle because the bottle yep. won't be there until you need it. Perfect. It's really good. Really good. So we were. Oh, Mike, Mike was on fire. I was on Friday last week. Yes, I was on fire. Right. Okay. Next one. Uh, I hope all is well in Dogland without Dave. Says Matt Bowskill. What colour trousers this week? Well, oh, 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 sorry. Jeans. I'm, yeah, jeans. So basically, uh, I'm painting. Um, oh, I'm building and painting a box. A box downstairs. Um, which you know, I, I, obviously, I could have bought it for two hundred quid, but I decided to make my own for four hundred quid because uh, I'm a moron. Um, and so uh, I don't want to get, obviously, my lime green trousers blue. So there you go. Uh, so, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Matt, you can you can suggest the colour trousers for next week, if you like. Uh, we're <laughs> Alex Trousers' suggestion is a new thing. Uh, what's the link for Dave's Walk? What's the link for Dave's yeah. Walk? Um, I don't think there's... Uh, does, does he mean the, uh, yeah, the brief? Hopefully some, yeah. Um, is it the walk you want to keep an eye on, or is it do you want to donate? Let us know, Roy, and we'll we'll we'll. It's on it's on the Prop Dog uh, Facebook page. If you just scroll down a bit. Um, yep. Uh, Jonas it. points out pineapple pizza is hot, delicious, and won't get you sick. And also, if you have it with uh, peanuts, you don't put pineapple on a pizza. You do. You have pineapple, no, 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 pineapple, no. chicken, curry powder, 
peanuts and banana. I think that's right. It's absolutely delicious. Honestly. Honestly. It's right, just sad. No, no, you wouldn't believe it. Don't put pineapple no, on No, no. Well, the Swedes won't be happy. Uh, if would love a review of Fisher's Dream, please. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. No. I've got one in. Um, I'm assuming it works much like the others. Um, it's by Inaki, and I can't remember the rest of his name. He's got a book out called What's Inaki? Um, oh, you go. Yeah. Who is Hi, you? Robert. Robert Van Buren says hello. Hello, Robert Van Buren. Where is it? Have we sold it? I, I have no idea. Oh, here, it here it is. We got it. So I'm standing here like a lemon because I don't do this. There you go. Stuff. Right, you, if you, you, you open that and have a look. Uh, so we'll give you a quick rundown, but I'm guessing it's the usual workings, which if you don't know the usual workings of how it's done, if the, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, da, da, da. I'll come off camera. Hey, Robert. Uh, Sean Churchyard, Dave's not in. Baffling blocks sales going through the roof there. You know what, they are. We've got three left. You know. 300. <laughs> There's more at the back. No, I'm joking. I might do, actually, you know what, I could do it. I could, maybe I could, I could take it tonight. Could, I could take it tonight, film it, and prove my point. It's the same sort of method. It's the same old method. Same sort of method, yeah. yeah. Same sort of method. Same Good. sort. Perfect, yeah. nice looking rope. Yeah, mm, it's well, not very much, uh, is it? It's probably. I mean, rope's rope, isn't it? Yeah, and I think <laughs> it's, it's I think it's a wonderful effect, which is why I got it in. It's one of those effects that you know it's really good for stage. And if, or if you don't fancy um, that, then do um, elevator card, which is also really good for close up, mm. um, which um, is very good too. Uh, are you both in the shop tomorrow? Uh, I probably. I will. am. He'll probably be here doing his yep. uh, box still. Almost it's, certainly. It's taking ages. Uh, Scott Clark. Any recommendations for coin bending products? I've always used Coinvex. Um, so yeah, so so have I. But then you Ox showed Bender. Oxbender, and I really liked Oxbender. Yeah, Oxbender's think... good if you want to. I mean, they're, they're two different methods. The Coinvex allows you to uh, show the gimmick in full view. Yeah, so you're very open, which is what yeah. I liked about it. Mm. Uh, Oxbender's more of a gimmick that needs to be uh, hidden. So it's one-handed or bender. But it's one-handed, whereas... So you can literally drop your head by the side, bend the coin, cut, whereas, with, yeah. yeah, you kind of got to... So it's horses for courses, really. Yep. Yeah. Your best bet is come in and try them. But also, I would recommend our easy bend coins because it stops you looking like you're trying to... Yeah. The Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your favourite colour of trousers? Um, what are your favourite colour of trousers? I like. I do like the pink ones. Uh, I like um, my tartan trousers quite a lot. Um, I, like, I, I like all of them. I do quite like all of them. I used to. You rip at the bare ones. Yep. Yep. I used to have a very funky sort of. Uh, well, no, I had a, a, a nice checked pair mm -hmm. um, that were very bright. That were really nice. So. Uh, oh, thanks, oh, James. Thanks, James. Save today. The GoFund page is on there. Ah, oh, Rob, no pizza, on, no pineapple on a pizza. Very much correct, Robert. No pineapple on a pizza. I mean, you would be shot if you went to Italy and asked for pineapple on a pizza. Well, I know you would, but I wouldn't do it in Italy. But in Sweden, you'd be loved. It's just wrong. In in Italy, yes. It, everywhere. But even in Sweden, it's just... It's not wrong anyway, over here, we're gonna though, beg it's, it's not wrong over here, is we've, it? Because, we've, because we've come on to an impasse. It, it, it's just wrong. Right. There we go. So, we've got... Oh, first of all, all the Penguin stuff has come in. So that was why uh, Invisible Coin is back. Yep. As is Snaps, Stoop yep. Test, uh, Franken Doe... Um, Sudden Deck. Sudden Deck. All of them. Snaps. All of them. All of them in. Plus Upper Hand by... Um, Gary, Gary, Jones. Gary Jones is back, which is my personal favourite. And The Goat, which um, I discovered last week. We only had two. I've whopped loads more in because I reckon if you watch that trailer, you'd love it. It's really good. Um, it's better than... It's one of those really visual production of four aces. Uh, it's great. It's great. Um, yeah, so all the Penguin stuff's in. And we've had Theory 11. Yeah, let's go through all that. Let's I mean, that's all good. I mean, I'm not, you, you're going to review this because you've seen all this. Oh, I have. Right, so, I've seen it. So, um, let's start petroleum. With petroleum. Um, it is uh, a very clean, um, well, it's, basically, it's mixing a deck and then, triumph, writing, and then writing a deck. So, it's a triumph effect. Plus, you can do oil and water with it. Yep. It is uh, a gimmick deck. Oh, yeah. 
Might have to blur that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think you're going to have to blur that. Oh, um, for crying out loud. <laughs> Amateurs. Oh, sh- it's a silly place to put it if you want to. But they're, they're all not listening to us now. What they've done now is yeah, they've stopped. Gone they've gone yeah, so back a bit. You can probably answer your own questions. Well, the other thing is, so here's, well, here's the truth. It, is, you it. can't make it. No, so you can't. There you go. It's a clever gimmick. And sorry, Fury Eleven, on behalf yeah. of Alex. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, John and Max. That was a mistake. But we, we've only got ten people watching, probably, so you'd be fine. Um, uh, but I we will blur it out. We will pro- we'll blur it out for the, the next. Anyway, we've got twenty minutes. Come on. All right. Yep. Yeah, so um, uh, very clever, fully gimmick. So they can't really examine it. Um, but easy, the, the cards it's do the work. It's very visual. It's very visual, cards do the work for and you. It I'm makes, not yeah, sure. it makes you look like a real good card it does. magician, actually. It does. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure, I'm, I wonder if it's been done before. That's the only thing that's bothering me. But anyway, I, I haven't I'm got time to think about that. I've uh, done right, their okay. research. Perfect sense. Perfect sense, I won't show you the inside of the box again. Mm. Uh, so this is a, a correct ch- change from pocket. So you have a spectator name uh, arranged from 50 to a pound. Um, they can say whatever they want. Obviously 69 is almost certainly going to be the most popular number at a Magic Club. And you can pull exactly that amount from your chain, from your from your hand. Um, it's not a, not a new plot, but I haven't seen the gimmick quite look like that before. No. Um, I haven't tried the gimmick yet. You can, he does teach you how to show the show the pocket empty um, afterwards um, and so on. So really good, a little bit of maths involved, you won't be surprised to, to hear. So you do actually have to be able to add up in currency to the amount of change that they've said. Right. Which is fairly clear. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. I, I, as an effect, a walk oh, around the premise effect, is great. You could just put that in your pocket. So it's a very magic trick, and you go, I'll tell you what, I've got whatever, whatever. Yeah, and the premise is great. Yeah, it's a great premise. I mean, you, uh, there's loads of people who have done it. You've got uh, Cosmo, he brought out uh, a trick, uh, and uh, Greg Wilson's yeah. exact change. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, it's a great effect. Cool. How much is that? Oh, sorry, we haven't told you how much uh, petroleum was. Petroleum's petroleum is 29.99. And uh, Perfect Sense is? Perfect Sense is 43.99. What well, a surprise you couldn't read my handwriting because I gave up towards you. You're like a, <laughs> I just gave like up. a child. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go, next one. Next one, Nomad. Now, and we had mixed views on this, but then well, you... Uh, you. Uh, do you know what? I watched yeah. it again, and I, I am impressed. Really? Yeah, it's, it's... You should never, you should never take things at face value. You've got to sit and you've that got is. to... You've got to yeah. sort of like... Take out all your negativity from something and just look at it from a spectator's point of view. I mean, you know, everybody knows I work with Wayne uh, uh, quite closely, and he always says to me, he says, you know, look at the product and see what you will get from the performance, not from you as a magician and how the method works. That's irrelevant. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah? If you see a, a trick that you see being performed and you go, that's brilliant, it doesn't matter what the method is. No. It could be like, you know, so we're going back to like that, that trick that you used to have with the fish white. What was that called? Um, trick, you, with, trick with the... Where the, something vanished and all it was was a bit of wire and you all went mad because it was a bit of wire. I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. It, anyway. it doesn't matter. But in any case, if you see a trick and you like it and you yeah, go, yeah. wow, that was brilliant, it doesn't matter what the method is. Well, it's funny. So on that Bill Goldman DVD, he he's in a room... And yeah, with loads of magicians. Corporate thing. Yep, yep. He floors them all, and when he says it's a Svengali deck, they'll go, oh. Spoiler. And and they're not, well. <laughs> but yeah, but you still haven't had to do the trick unless you. Uh, they're, yeah. all, they're all. Yeah, they're all, they'll go, oh, not interested. Again, but you were just amazed a minute ago. You would have yeah. paid 30 quid yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, I, think, I think a good sort of like thing to remember is that if you see something in a trailer. Now, obviously, there are some trailers that are not 100% true to the trick. But certainly if yeah. you see a demonstrator demonstrate it or you go to a shop and you see it and you go, wow. I mean, we've had that all day today, haven't we, some, some, some yeah, tricks. Yeah. Um, you should give it, you know, the fact that it's a good trick. But back to Nomad, yeah, it's um, coin to coin ring. Coin to ring. It's, it, nice, look at the trailer. Sure. The trailer is exactly what it is. There's, there's no... Yep. There's no faffing about and there's no cuts or edits. It's, it, is it is what, what it is. is. Yeah, a bit, a bit knacky. Yeah, of course, you've got to, it's like, 
but if we if 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 everything was self working, yeah, we wouldn't be magicians. Yeah, but it's one of those things. Magician. It's a bit like you know, yeah. If you're willing to spend, I probably wouldn't take you that long actually. You spend an hour, couple of hours, couple of hours yeah. playing with it. Uh, you, you'd have a really really great visual trick. And even if you're doing it on Instagram, because you've got to put in those few hours. You might well get better hits. I think it's more Instagram and social yeah, yeah. media than Brilliant perhaps for that for Brilliant. live because it's over so quickly. Yeah, and I think yeah, but yeah, but it, yeah, it's good. How much is it? I mean, it comes in different. So oh, yeah, this so is the Bitcoin. Yep. So the Bitcoin one is uh, thirty four ninety nine, and uh, then we do that's the nice and gold. The Morgan and the Morgan. That's the two we do. Yeah, is forty three ninety nine. The Morgan's got a nice ring to it. To it. <laughs> uh, but I'd recommend it. Yeah, if you, if you, yeah, if you want to do yeah, something that that's visual, trick. I think it's really good. Um, very clever. Great for social media. Yep. Great. Um, Walter cool. says, uh, Alex, you seem to enjoy Mac King fashions. Yeah, I think. I think he's copying me. Uh, <laughs> Peter Beef, uh, what kind of watch is that, Alex? Uh, so Lego. It's, it's, a, well, it's a Lego watch. Uh, if you really want one, uh, I can send you a link. It's pretty much the cheapest watch on Amazon. Um, and the reason I got this was it was for a South London thing where I was doing uh, a heist type thing, so I needed lots of them up no. my arm. So I bought a cheap watch when I just had. So actually, if you want one, Peter, I'll put it, you can put it up one of mine. <laughs> it's got hundreds. Well, I had to. I had to buy loads because it's, it's with his. It's with his um, spare uh, um, uh, stash of baffling blocks. <laughs> <laughs> They're over there. They cost to be a fortune. I have to keep buying them. But the different. Do you know how many new accounts I've had to set up for prop dogs so I can be? A, <laughs> oh, I love baffling blocks. Uh, so see you tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, see you tomorrow, fun. Robert. Uh, all good. Uh, no, all good. Hope you uh, receive a prize. Thanks very much again. Much appreciated. No problem at all, Eddie. Uh, Mike, congratulations on being elected to the TMC. Thank Council. you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking for some pop-up production jumbo dice. Anyone selling any quality ones? Never seen them join us. Um, a tour of magic sell some. It's an old Ali Bongo thing, where you know they pop up. Yeah, you could pop. Oh, I don't know what you'd get. What you'd? I mean, it's similar to the flower bag. You know, where you, you show a bag yeah, empty and the up. flowers come out. Uh, it's similar kind of gimmick to that. But all you've got to do is rather than have it. Um, just be, with ribbon, you just add elastic, elastic, bands. elastic bands. You can yeah. actually, I would imagine, if you look online, you can because it's origami. Probably look on YouTube. You probably find out how to make them. Unless you want really good. Oh, I know. Um, Carissa Hendricks had a pop-up book, and she gives on her Penguin Live lecture, and she gives how to make the book. And the book is the best bit about it is once it's popped up, it is solid. And it looks like a book. And it looks like a book. So yeah, take that method and... Take that method and make it into a cube. Into a cube and then a dice. Cool. Uh, no, Mike, uh, No, I'm like a doctor, Mike. That's why my handwriting's bad. So, you see, I mean, when, when, you're as, when you're as educated as I am, you know, me... Doc yeah, Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as Mere, doctor as you're you know, well, we, we don't You can't to, even talk to our Bobo even ignores you. We don't need clear characters in our handwriting. For, no, that, for, that everyone knows what we mean. Um, <laughs> you do, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I need. No, no, don't you show it. Don't show it. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Uh, has Simon Drake ever come in? I don't know. No. no. Well, not while I've been here. But I know Simon. I know Simon. Yeah. Yes, he's a lovely guy. Is he in the contacts on your phone? I can't remember. Right. Okay. Uh, if the Ahmed says uh, best open card prediction for table hopping. Got your lucky card. card. You got your lucky card. Haven't got you? lucky card. Um, open. Well, any. What about what about uh, if you tune in next week? We'll have more info on it. But uh, card to wine bottle. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a good open card prediction. Yeah, I mean any of those. I mean, um, there are so many of those. There, uh, there's a lot around. You've got the vision box. You've got uh, uh, the David Penn's one, mystery, mystery solved, uh, Paragon. Of, lots of boxes. Uh, paper clipped, of course. Paper clipped. Jay uh, Sankey. The Bob Austin clip, which is now called Barking Dog by Etienne mm. Pretty. Yes. Um, what else is there? Uh, you've got uh, the Lego blocks, the mystery blocks. Yep. I mean, they're all um, they're all open card predictions. If you want a card on the table, you can't do any better than lucky card. I'm not going to argue. No, it's brilliant. I mean, it is brilliant. And I, I, I'm I am biased, but it. Oh, a bit. Right. So but it can be used with borrowed deck. It's a borrowed deck. Go on, before this, right. this is about this is about to turn into the Dobbo show, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. 
So, uh, Rajan Colors, if you have been, uh, Rajan, Flying Colors by, by Rajan, Rajan. <laughs> um, who is, uh, he's a lovely man, isn't he? Yes. Right. Isn't yeah, he? Yeah, 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 he's great. He came in, um, and Christian Grace was here, and uh, Rajan was buying um, Switch One, and Christian was interested in Rajan's Flying Colors, so they had a nice little jam, mm. they, had a, they had a good laugh. Um, you, we videoed it. We videoed it, we Put stuck it, it on Facebook, um, so really, <laughs> You can see it on our Facebook page. It is a free fly across, but with poker chips of different colours. So that's what's really nice yeah, about it. Yeah, not only the chips go across, but the colours go, go across, across as well. too. So, yep. Yeah, so they kind of gets away with the idea of um, an additional coin if that was such a method that you were using, because obviously the colours go across as well. Uh, and Props are well made. Really well made. They are genuine casino oh, poker clay. chips. Yeah, clay. Which, yeah, made out of clay. clay. Feel really good. Um, it's a great product. It's a great product. It's a great routine. It's not as difficult as uh, as you might think. As it looks, <laughs> it's probably not as difficult as I'm going to make it. Yeah. Look, um, you can do it. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, oh right, okay. Uh, when are you going to do it? Oh, come when on! When I get a chance, when I get a chance. Accountability, fellow. We need time limits on this. I stuff. know, but then, but then, so part of them was, I mean, it rained on Monday, didn't it? So my boat got. So I, had to, oh, I had, to leave. had to mop the inside of my boat up because it was all raining. these books. It, oh, yeah, all books. All my book. Oh, all right. So, so things keep creating in the way. But yeah, that's no, definitely uh, so, really good. A couple of point pointers. Uh, I mean, yeah, they are clay. They're clay chips, so they're they're made by a poker company rather than a magic prop company. And uh, I had a quick look at them, and they're really, really good. Yeah. The printing is actually goes through like a stick of rock. Uh, right. So, yeah. so when they uh, they are soft as well. So, if you've yeah. used coins before, they are soft. So, if they do wear, the print won't wear off, which is brilliant. I mean, yeah, yeah. there are other products where yeah, well, stickers to, yeah. come off and stuff like that. said how you can clean them as well. And you so can clean, yeah, clean them under a tap. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was impressed with the the props and grit mix. And and for someone who wants to learn free fly, and isn't a major coin yeah. worker, uh, it's definitely worth. Yep. Having a go at. Well, um, I mean, I did spend a fortune on um, Bob Collar's. What was that one with the. Oh, what was it called? I can't remember. This Bob, is a problem Bob, with Bob dealers. Bob Collar one with, Steel Mor with um, Silver Morgans cost me an absolute arm and yeah. leg, and then I got hammered for customs. But anyway, yeah. But it's a brilliant How much is it? Oh, I can read that because it's, it's the only one. 49 49.99. And you get everything you need. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, Gary Simpson, uh, hi Jack. Uh, all right, do you have this on to questions? Uh, Gary Simpson, is any chance to them try coloured dice by Wayne Dobson? What uh, a segue! Unfortunately, not. No. What a segue! No, what a segue! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Gary. Uh, oh, you had to ask. Uh, so, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So, try coloured dice is uh, a new effect by Wayne and in association with Alan Wong. Um, it's right. Mel. It's Mel. Hello. Sneaking in. Uh, so we're going to do this. So Alex. Oh, do you want to do it on Mel? Mel would be better. No, Mel is going. Mel's, Mel's going. going. Can you have a note? Uh, yep. Let's do the last one. Oh, okay. So, um, guys, I hope you can see this. We have three dice, three boxes, three lids. So Alex, this is what I want you to do. Um, pick any colour dice you like. Pick one. Uh, blue. Well, yeah, pick it up. Oh, okay. Yep. And place it in any box. Fantastic. So we're going to put a lid on that, and we'll put lids on that, and that's great. We don't need them for a second. Uh, I want you to, uh, I'm going to mix these up because I don't want you to remember where the blue one is. But I, can, I know where the blue one is, so I'm going to turn my back. Okay. And I, I want you to mix it up as well. I so you mix one. it up as well. All of them. All of them. Spin them around. Spin them around. Just do whatever you like, but mix okay. them up. All yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yep, go on Done? Then. Yep. Fantastic. So now what I want you to do is hold your hand over them and just think of the colour blue. Just keep going backwards and forwards, okay? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Do it again. Mm. I like doing that. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Uh, I think this is the blue dice. Let's have a look. And it is indeed the blue dice. How cool is that? That's cool. So now what we'll do is I'll take the lids off here. Uh, we've got two more dice. Yeah, right, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. So suspicious. Uh, place uh, one of the other dice in a box. Yeah? Yeah. You're happy with that? Yeah. And uh, we'll put that one in there. 
and we'll put that in there. Now, this is the next stage of the trick. What I want you to do is I'm going to turn my back. I want you to take one dice out of one of the boxes, yeah. take the lid off, like Obviously, so. To get out, yeah. Take the dice, put it in your pocket. Oh, no, actually, hold it in your hand for, for right. each of you. So I'm going to... I'll put the lid back on the box, obviously. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, Otherwise, okay, this trick will be very if quick, be... over very quickly. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm going to turn my back and you do that, okay? So uh, take one dice out. Yep, and that, yep. Uh, and then uh, swap over the other two positions. Yep. Right, okay. Done? Yep. Okay. Now I want you to do exactly the same thing. I want you to run your hand and think red, white, blue. Do it. Do it again. I think you chose the red dice. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. So that's not bad, is it? No, no, don't go near me pocket. Don't go near me pocket. Stand back there. Yeah, we'll there. Don't go near me pocket. Right, okay. So we'll put the. Can this be done in a quiet room? Huh? Can this be done in a quiet room? We haven't got. Okay, we'll talk about that afterwards. Oh. Right, okay. Um, so uh, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, You've just. Right, go on. Okay, so we did the phase. Oh, I'll tell you what we do now. Right? Oh. So what I want you to do is um, I'm going to mix these up. I'm going to use your powers of observation. Was you watching where that dice was? No. Ah, uh, good. All right, okay. What colour do you think that dice is? White. White. White, he said. Uh, try again. <laughs> Blue. Oh, we have a winner. Excellent. Now, this, this is going to get easier for you. All right, Alex. All right. Okay. Uh, what colour do you think that is? White. Are you sure? Yes. Have a look. No. It's not. Try again. Red. Yes. I was only joking with you. Yeah. Okay, so what colour do you think that is? White. Right, okay. I got one right. You got one right. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> pick, an, pick a dice, pick a colour. A blue. Blue, okay, put that in there, put that in there. Put that behind your back, okay? Oh, one other thing, remember, you've got to take the box off. Uh, you're going to take the off. lid off. Yeah, okay. So, take that behind your back. Take the lid off. Take the lid off. Take the dice out. Yep. Give it a bit of a mix. Yep. Uh, and Hang put on. it. Alright. Any time today. All it's right. not that difficult. Alright, before before the dove dies. Before the dove dies. I gave him that, Wayne. I think Wayne's watching actually. Uh, sorry, Wayne. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> brilliant, um, brilliant joke, Wayne. Any idea what colour that is? Yeah, I saw Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. See, uh, what is it? Blue. Blue. Okay. Any idea what number it is? No. Have a guess. Well, I think I know it's not. Right. So I know. Well, it's, it's not, not seven, I, is it? Exactly. No, no, because I turned it and I knew. Okay, so I reckon I'll go for six. Six. It's not. It's one. Open the open the lid. Let's have a look. It's one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can see that on there. It's one. So I couldn't have been further from the. Tree. <laughs> You can't be <laughs> further from the wrong. truth. Okay, but this is not the end of the trick. You see, um, all through this, you've been doing uh, multiple uh, yeah, yeah. different phases. You, yeah. All of them have been three choices, correct? Yeah. Okay, I have not influenced you in any way. No. No, because I don't know how you did this, but you put the blue dice in the blue box. You put the red dice in the red box, and you put the white dice in the white box, and that is tricolour dices. Let me just go and turn off the thing. 299.99, including VAT. Oh, and it's all fully examinable. Yeah, it's not, we can't pick it up. I, uh, um, Give me your glasses. <laughs> Got to keep doing me glasses. Yeah, we've invented this new Google thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, 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 it's not. Um, what so can I, I say? I mean, I mean, I mean. Alex was fooled. He, he, he genuinely I have been fooled. fooled. But I am yeah. still fooled. So, uh, Mike, when did we do it? Was it yesterday? Yesterday before you showed it to me. Yesterday, and then Wayne came on Skype, and and uh, I've still got no idea. So, um, literally, I've, well, I've done, I've done everything I could possibly think of to screw it up for Mike. He does it every time. It, I mean, he even told it's me. It's very annoying. It's very annoying because uh, I'll tell you what. Cool. That, that is a normal dice, and that is a normal box. Yeah. 
There is another thing you can do with this. There's another phase you can do, and Wayne spoke to me about it. You can do a colour vision esque type uh, yeah, but routine, like but out. rather than you tell them what the uh, number is, oh, is that a thing? You, you get you get oh, the spectator clever. to do it, and you you bring in like a um, uh, uh, instant stooge. Yeah, so so that's that's or, a new thing. Oh, well, I'd I'd call it less more more a uh, spectator's the star. Speak say it as a star, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, because so it's tricolor dice. Um, I love it. I, uh, this was born of an idea when I was really enthusiastic about taking uh, mental dice down to Wayne when it first came out. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm a bit of a sucker for electronics, and he just looked at it and went, "I can do that without electronics." And this is basically it. I don't know how the guy does it. I really don't. Um, yeah, all I don't know he does this. And and it's a it's a four phase routine. Uh, you've got what I would say the best five six minutes close up, and you don't necessarily have to do it to the same person. You can do it to, you know, several people. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. best part of this, how much is it, Alex? It is twenty two pounds. Twenty two. I don't I don't know, pounds. and I'm not I'm into, you know. And I'm not going to show him this. And actually, we did. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> it has been it has been studied on site actually as well. Look at the packaging though. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I mean, that it goes in there. Does that's good. like that. I mean, that's worth twenty two pounds, right? In its own. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's. Uh, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed that, Gary. And our, um, in actual fact, we haven't got a few. I will put some more on because I've got some at home. So if we do sell a few more. There'll be stock here tomorrow. Yeah, put so it. I'll, I'll tell you what, if you put, yeah, and if, if you do want one, put, I want one in the comments, or put, I want dry colour in the comments, or TD or something, and then we'll know roughly how much Mike's got to bring in tomorrow. Uh, so I hope that answers your question, Gary. Um, I don't know, I've got no idea how it is done, to be honest, uh, but it does work. Uh, that Chris Hendricks penguin knife is ace, says Matt Balskill, uh, full of brilliant stuff, but the book thing is worth the price of admission. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, could you discuss Wayne Dobson's tossed out deck? I think it came out about a year ago. We can. Um, I could tell you about it, but um, I think we might have someone in the shop who knows more than anyone else. Uh, so we'll let, you, let him sort it out. Andrew Vaughan says, hello gents. Hello Andrew. Um, Brian, it's called Brian, says Mint Box by Daniel Garcia. Yep, yeah, that's again true. Um, there was one, there was a mint, what was the mint box? Toy box, toy, toy, toy yeah. box or whatever that doesn't doesn't have a gimmick, that's really good. Um, but of course with um, with mint box, it's, it's not really open, is it? Because uh, you can't see the prediction. No, no, you open it so it's not and, the, and the prediction's in there. A uh, mint box is fantastic. Um, I mean, Dan Garcia, I love him to bits. Hello, Danny, if you ever see this, mate. Had, I hope we see. I hope we meet up soon and, and Wayne. Yeah, no, I'm it's Wayne's favourite close-up magician, right. Danny Garcia. But so. also, you can you can often do them without. Um, there are sleight of hand methods for doing them in in a lot of books. Um, I'm trying to think of my favourite one, but I think it's by Jeff someone, but I can't remember his name. Uh, where you just have a card down and they just say stop, and you know you turn them over. Marlowe's got a couple. Marlowe's probably got a couple. I imagine there's. I imagine Paul Curry's got a couple. Um, so you can also go down, go down that route. Uh, you don't necessarily. Uh, need a gimmick for an open or, or a fake deck. No, if you want to do slide of hand, you can do it with slide of yeah, hand as well. So but Lucky Card is the uh, best. How come I can't find any reviews on Lucky Strike? I'm interested to know more about oh, it. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's practical, etc. Never heard of it. What the hell is Lucky, Lucky Strike, Strike is one of ours. Uh, so, Lucky Strike, um, it, it, it fell off the radar, unfortunately, because it was one of those tricks that uh, uh, we have still got a couple. It was one of those tricks that came out um, pre-COVID, and I was uh, working it on my in my gigs. I always I always put at least uh, at least um, one or two items into my sort of like paid gigs that we're working on just to get a feel of how they they go. Um, this is my favourite trick of all time. It is an open prediction actually. So you do put a card down and you get uh, uh, there's loads of gags. I am revisiting the project. I will be doing um, a trailer for it and things like that. I've got footage of it now. So um, we, we kept it on sale because there were people that were buying it through word of mouth. Uh, I do, uh, I have been doing it when I've been doing dealer dems for um, over Zoom and stuff like that. But now that COVID's lifting, 
uh, we're going to revisit the project. I'm going to get the trailer ready for it, and uh, uh, perhaps we'll do uh, perhaps we'll do a demo. Perhaps we'll do a dem next week. Oh, you can do midweek if you want. Or midweek. Yeah, we could do a video, and I'll put a video up, and yep. uh, we can do that. So, yeah, bear with us, and I'll definitely... I love the trick. The trick is fantastic. The trick is really, really good, but, uh, yeah. Uh, good. Free fry... Co oh, Daniel got free fry coin from us. Now you need to get flying colours. I'm yeah. afraid that is just the way magic works, isn't it? It is, yeah. You'll have, you'll have the same trick about yep. 500 times. It's, and, uh, oh, here's a little thing from James... James, yeah. <laughs> there is an orifice that that will be playing out of. That I'll tell you what, that was that was going to be my joke. I was going to have um, I was going to have the noise on the um. Oh, he's been winding me up all week. So I'm going to tell the, the story. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell the story. So, so. I was going to. He, he has this wicked idea of getting everybody to perform at the Magic Circle with a kazoo. Okay, fantastic. You know, they're all going to come out and he's going to get them to do Final Countdown, which he's been practicing not very well <laughs> all week long. And um, I was going to stick that somewhere, I'll tell you. But uh, uh, Noel Quarter came into the shop today and he went, oh, yeah, not very COVID friendly. So that was the end of that. Which is a bit of a gutting shame. So there you go. But also the best bit was I caught Mike nipping out to the post, going. Doo -doo 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 I was I was I was humming that eighteen oh, yeah, theme. Yeah, yeah, I was humming yeah. eighteen theme. Right. So um, no, for your information, James, I am not in love with the kazoo. He's just. He, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take that down the pub. And, like, yeah, that he, that's that's yeah. When when I'm not there, I'll get to the bar. I'll, I'll get to the bar. Hi, Otter. How are you, buddy? Hey, I'm way to a gig. Way gig. Well, take care. Wow. Take care. So good for you. So close to Christmas. Uh, Frank Frank Valenti's on a ship heading to Mexico. I didn't think they could go anywhere. I thought they were all just so. looking for a card in view, but with quick reset uh, and with a 3D card. Oh, Alibi. Yes, Alibi, which is yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, sort of like a variation on sell. Yeah. Uh, what's the dice trick called? Tricolor dice. Who's by it by? Wayne Dobson in association with. Alan Wong. And uh, how much is it? It is twenty-two pounds. Twenty-two pounds. So there you go. Poor old James. He came, James Buchanan came and he got. He had had the kazoo, but he didn't get to see that. So he no, he in. didn't. No, no. Better come back in, James. Uh, That's brilliant. To be fair, thank you, yeah. Sean. I want one. one. I'll well, I'll order, one. It. order it, order it, order it, order it. There, there we go. go. They're all ordered. It hasn't yeah. stopped with the old D trick demonstrations yet, though. We've still got a couple more to do, uh, yeah, uh, hello, and we've hello, got hello. and we've got forty. Uh, we've got, you're going to have to be leaving soon, aren't you? I'm going to have to be leaving soon. Yeah, just ordered it. Wayne Dobbs is a genius, says Adam. Uh, it looks awesome. Well, there you go. I think it was a bit of a hit. It is. Should we go on to the next one? Might as well. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one is called Win or Lose, and it involves. Uh, these little so don't do it don't do it so you, uh, Alex you got the chart what's your car what car have you got what car have I got yeah I have a Mercedes oh yes what what model uh, it's a C230 I think C40 C230 240 okay you have got a chance to keep your Mercedes C230 240 oh, really? or don't ask, don't, ask, don't ask what year it is, that's the other question. <laughs> if you, 1900 and how old your grandfather. <laughs> if you lose it, it's mine. Oh, okay. okay. But I'm going to stack the odds against me rather than you. Thank you very much. Uh, right you down. see that there are six discs in front of there you. There are. One of them is a winning disc. Okay. Okay. So all you've got to do is choose one of one disc that has win on it. Okay. One of them has it. Okay. So uh, we're going to go through them. Um, now, you've got mine and you've got yours, but that could be mine is mine and yours is yours, or mine could be yours and yours could be mine. You've yep. got something and nothing. There's always something in nothing. That might be a clue, okay? You've also got this and that. Have you ever seen this? Yes. If you haven't seen this, you must have seen that. <laughs> right, okay. All the gags come free. <laughs> <laughs> but what I want you to uh, understand yeah. is that mine is bigger than yours. Right. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Same old gag. Same yeah. old. Same old. A anyway, uh, I want you to choose one. Choose any one you want. I'm gonna have yours. 
That's really mean. Because. Well, it's yeah, yours. Well, it's yours. Well, it's yours oh, anyway. Okay. Mine, okay. Okay. Um, choose another one. Something. Something. Okay, we're going to speed this up. Choose two more. And have this and that. <gasps> uh, and you've got one more choice. Mine or nothing. Well, I've got Remember, there's something nothing. I've got to go for nothing because I think, because that is obviously. A bit there of is a, always something in nothing. That's a double bluff. That is that. a cold. That's so a that bluff. leaves me with mine. Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to, uh, as a con man, I'm going to give oh, you right, go. a, a, a chance to uh, do something that most con men will not ever allow you to do, okay. and that is change mine for yours or any other of the chips. So, do you want to swap them? Yeah, I will. I'm going to swap yours for mine. <sighs> okay, take mine. Oh, I might change it. For, yeah. You sure? I might change yours for that. Well, do it if you want to do it. I'll change yours for that. Right, there okay. That's it. That's all you can do now. Okay. So, this is mine. That is yours. But it's that. Uh, turn over mine. Have a look. What does it say? It says lose. Turn over something. What does it say? It says lose. Turn over this. What does it say? Lose. Turn over yours. What does it say? Lose. Turn over nothing. Lose. Take that. <laughs> Take that. Take all that. Right. Uh, uh, turn it over, show. It says win. Is that, give me your keys to your car, mate. Yeah, you can actually have it. <laughs> so, so this is Wayne's. Very good. This is Wayne's very variation of Bank know. Night. So, so. All right. All right, okay. Well, so yeah. suspicious. Right, this is Wayne's variation of Bank Night, but rather than doing it with envelopes, uh, two things have been covered here. First of all, it's not nothing to do with envelopes. They're these little chips, uh, very unassuming props. And second of all, it can be done close up, which is really, really good. You can put it on table. And also, if it's on the table, you don't have to worry about the old drink puddle. No, you don't have to worry about the old drink puddle because they're plastic. The other thing is, as well, is if you're doing it cocktail, you get two or even six, uh, three or even six people, and they can hold them in their hands like this. Yeah, yep. So yeah. they're holding them all and the I time, and I've done that in the past. I mean, much less pocket space than they... Um, they come in a lovely, I mean, again, I think, you know, Alan Wong and his packaging is just uh, unbelievable. I won't show you the link, but they come in a nice little black bag as well. So, um, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's almost no pocket space at all. No want. pocket space at all, uh, and it comes in a nice little box as well. So, uh, very, very popular. Uh, Craig uh, Petty gave it 98% on his review. What did Ryland what did give it, though? I don't know. I no, think I he was doing a special, so I don't think Ryland's Ryland the one that counts. We all know that. Oh, all right. um, um, well, that'd be that's my, you. That'd be, that'd be, month, be, that'd be you. Um, win or lose, um, £20. Pounds. There's not a lot of money in it, and you're getting a lot of magic. You're getting the gags. I mean, the, the, the same old gags that you would use uh, for bank nights and uh, things like that. And you can add your own bits and pieces to it. But uh, I always put it with a fake £50 note. So, Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, put yeah. a £50 yeah, note down, and that's what they win. But, uh, yeah, that's win or lose. Um, a gosh, but enough. It's very good. It's very good. Uh, it is. I, I love it. Any decent new mentalism books in or on the way? Uh, no, no, no. About um, the Mark Salem book um, came out about a month ago. Uh, we've got calculated thoughts yep. um, by Doug Diamond back in, um, but nothing off the top of my head, Anthony Myers. Uh, so sorry. Cool. Um, I'm interested in getting my new version of the sex trick. Can oh, you tell me the difference two. from the the old version? And do I have to go through Alakazam to get it? Well, uh, well it's an Alakazam product. Um, so Wayne sold the rights and uh, the production to Alakazam. So yes, you would have to go to Alakazam. However, we do have it in stock here as well. If you look up Exchange 2, I think we've got a copy or two. Uh, the difference is, is um, the, the way you um, work out if they've chosen the right card. And the, the cards are better, I think, and slightly bigger. So if you're doing it parlour stage as well, they can see it more. Oh, that I think yeah, I think I remember you doing it in South London a while ago. Yeah, yeah, well, very good, yeah, very good. yeah. It's a, it's a great little trick. It's a great little trick. Uh, Alex, if you bring a kazoo into a pub, you may be tarred and feathered. Yep, that's pretty true. But I think I probably sleep warmer at night. You would. With that, uh, that might actually help next time I fell in. Uh, Jonas <laughs> Carlson. <laughs> I'm running out. Of, I'm running out of material, Jonas. So, it's, oh, somebody wanted to know about the toss deck. Okay, very quickly. Uh, this is my baby in terms of I actually make these by hand, and um, it was brought out uh, many moons ago, and we it was called uh, Javelin, and it was brought out by Alakazam. 
Um, then, then it filtered off and I decided to buy the rights back off of Pete Nardi, who's a very good friend of mine, and uh, call it its original name again, the Ultimate Toss Deck. Now Wayne was very, very uh, wary of calling it the Ultimate Toss Deck, but I do believe it's the ultimate, don't it? it's the ultimate toss deck. It's the only deck where you can actually spread it out, show it as a regular deck of cards, um, and you can also um, uh, shuffle it as well. So you can get the spectator to shuffle it. There is a bit of uh, uh, audience management, but apart from that, they can shuffle it. Um, as long as they uh, yeah, don't yeah, riffle yeah, shuffle it. Uh, you can show them the cards individually. They feel and look like regular cards. In fact, when I dem this, I dem no ordinary card tricks before I actually do the toss deck with these cards. Um, when you put an elastic band around it, it's a three-way full deck. I can, I can only say that much. And uh, you can either do it um, on stage, as you would any other toss deck, or you do it close up. The reason why it is expensive is because the cards it uses, you have to use two of those decks of cards. And secondly, it takes a good uh, while to actually make them. I'm not going to say any more. Um, it speaks for itself, really. It is the ultimate toss deck, and uh, it's the only deck of cards, uh, the only toss deck on the market that you can actually give to a spectator to shuffle. There you go. All right, come on, come on, so I've got to go. Uh, yeah, you've got to go. Uh, any more? I've got. Uh, uh, we got. We got Houdini's next. Should we do Houdini's next really quickly, yeah. and then and then we'll call it. So that's the. Uh, the someone said do a D trick special next week. I think this really is it, isn't it? I'll, yeah. I'll do Lucky Strike next week. But don't forget about Flying Colors by Rajan. And Flying Colors by Rajan, and all the. Um, and and, and uh, Petroleum. And, yeah. uh, and, uh, um, so so look, I'm going to put this on. This is uh, a locket that uh, was Houdini gave to his niece. We'll come back to that in a second. Now you see Houdini and his wife Beth never had children, no. But he really, really loved his niece. Now, funnily enough, when his niece was born, she was never given a name. Oh. And uh, uh, the family asked Houdini to come up with a name. Now, he, d he had no idea, he, 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 what, what do I call her? So he was into numerology. Now, he also loved his grandmother very much. So oh. he used his grandmother's birthday year right. to work out his uh, niece's name. Okay. Okay, and, and to make that even easier, he bought this book. It's the hundred, uh, the book of a hundred popular girls' names, and if you look through it, they're all different. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, you've got uh, Alison and Kate. Uh, you can see here yeah. Lily, Matilda. I, I mean, you get the idea. Yeah. I'm not going to harp yeah, yeah, on, those, but yeah. they're all different. Oh, they're all different. Yeah, they're yeah. all different. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna come up with uh, a number, and it's going to be okay. randomly generated. We do exactly the same way as Udini did with his grandmother. Now I'll give you a clue. She was born in the 1800s. So we don't need to worry about that. But the last two digits was a two-digit number. So think of any two-digit number, and, and we'll uh, write it down. Okay. So, uh, what's the number? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. So we're going to take the number twenty-six, and we're going to split it into two. So we've got two plus six equals eight. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we're going to take eight from twenty-six. What does that leave, Alex? I'll let you do the math. Eighteen. Eighteen. And that is the number that we're going to look up in the book. Okay. Okay, so, uh, like I say, they're, they're all different names yeah. and they've all got their different um, uh, meanings on them and things like that, so there you go. Uh, let's go to 18. Uh, what's the, the name? Uh, Marie. Marie, and it means, uh, the name Marie mm. means free, born and noble. Oh, very, very, nice. very apt. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. So, when Udini went to uh, the house and he's, uh, he's speaking to the family and the niece was there, he presented her with this locket. Okay, and he said, in this locket is a picture of me. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And there's also a, if I open it, a picture of his niece. But he added the name. Now you chose... Marie. Marie. That's Marie. really strange Marie. because Marie. the name he put on the locket was unbelievable. There Marie. You go. Now is that coincidence? Only you can decide that. <laughs> uh, and, and and you can give them that to to look at. That's nice. Nice bit of fun. Uh, right, and the book, they can look at the book as well. So um, uh, 
that's your mum again. That's, someone told me I've got to go. That's that's, uh, so this is Houdini's niece. I love this trick because the prop looks fantastic. You've got this locket. Uh, you've got this book of 100 popular names. Now, obviously, this was designed on the Houdini range. So if you've got Houdini's diary, for instance, these books are starting to look like a little right. collection. Yeah, yeah. Um, plus the fact is that we've made sure, Wayne made sure that all the Houdini tricks are different. So you could right, do yeah. a Houdini set with them. Um, how much is it, Alex? Brilliant. It's, uh, it's 25 99 I mean, look at the packaging on that one, eh? And you get and you get a little um oh you get a bit of thing and uh, you get good. a bag and it's uh, it's brilliant. Good. And if you want to do uh, with with uh, Halloween coming up, I mean you yeah. could put a spin on it. You don't have to do the platter that comes with it. You could put a spin on it about it being a bit, you know, from the dead and you know he's dead. But his niece is actually it is his niece, yeah, Marie. Good. So uh, it is based on a true story. Um, right then. It's five o'clock. I'm done. Are we doing the giveaway. The shop. No, we can't. We've got to go. We've got to go. Okay. What so no giveaway this week. Um, the only reason it's a rush job is because Alex has got to go to the Magic Circle, and uh, I don't frankly want to be here on my own. Uh, thank you, Mike. Trying to Mike trying to squeeze uh, uh, you know uh, something in uh, midweek if we can to make up for this short one. All right. But uh, love to you all. Love to you all. Bye.